Did you know that the first ever GIF was made in 1987? Crazy, right? I was just five years old in 1987. <laughs> they were once so hipster, but now they are so mainstream, even your granddad sends them to you. We'll fast forward to the modern day, and there's millions of them. Just look at your Instagram story sticker library. And that's exactly what we're here to do today, to show you how to create and upload your very own custom GIF stickers. Get ready to go GIF viral in this week's episode of Giant Wednesday. Hello, I'm Danny from Sleeping Giant Media, and I'm here today to talk to you about making gift stickers for your Instagram stories, TikTok, Snapchat, iMessage, and who else knows where. If you like what I have to say in today's video, then make sure you subscribe to our channel where we release digital marketing skills-based videos every single week. As a brand, created branded gifts are a great way to increase brand awareness and exposure. In fact, Instagram Stories alone sees 500 million accounts using the tool every single day. What an awesome opportunity to get in front of potential customers. Making these gift stickers are only part of the story. Uploading them and having them appear when people search for them is something else. The gifts I'm going to show you today are going to be made to sit on Giphy, the ultimate gift search engine. In fact, a search engine with over 700 million daily users. You people, and Facebook obviously, love GIFs. What you can do is set up a normal run-of-the-mill Giphy account and add standard GIFs on there. But in order to have GIF stickers that are searchable, you'll need to become a verified account. That's right, time to earn that blue tick. Oh, thanks, mate. Step one, become a Giphy verified brand. As I already said, Giphy is a Google of GIFs. You need a brand channel and apply to be verified in order for your stickers to be publicly available. I guess this helps filter out a lot of the questionable content. The process of getting verified is pretty easy and quick, which is great news. But because of the verification process, small businesses may not be approved. And if you're a freelancer or artist, Giphy's guidelines don't allow you to upload commercial pieces for brands to your own profile. Just something to keep in mind. Anyway, how to get verified is as simple as one, go to Giphy, two, Click Login and select Join Giphy. Three, select Join as an artist or a brand. Four, submit your details, contact information and business information. And finally, five, hit Apply. Yes, it really is that easy. You'll be able to build out your profile whilst you eagerly await the confirmation email. And remember to set your profile as public so people can find you. The next step, whilst waiting to be approved or after you've been approved, is setting up your channel and filling it with GIFs and GIF stickers. So that moves me on to point two creating GIF stickers for Giphy. So it's probably important to quickly explain the difference between a GIF and a GIF sticker. A GIF itself is a solid animated thing, like this. And a GIF sticker is an animation on a transparent background or alpha channel, like this. Giphy calls them cut out or die cut, but animated. Here's a quick example on how to make a GIF sticker using Photoshop. And if you're after how to make these with free tools such as Canva or Pixlr, then skip ahead. First things first, you'll need to open a previously created PNG image in Photoshop like we have here. This could be a cutout portrait, image, or even your logo. Next, you'll want to duplicate your image and change its movement to make it stand out, or else you'll just have a plain sticker. For this example, we're going to change its movement by one step for every new layer created, as you'll see here, where I've rotated our sticker slightly clockwise and then back again. Now go to Window and Timeline which will open a timeline at the bottom of your workspace. You'll only want to create a frame animation and drag only your first layers into the timeline. This will then give you the options in the timeline menu, those three horizontal lines, to make frames from layers. This will happen automatically and make each of your layers into its own frame. Now, select File, Export and Save for Web, which will bring up the menu you see here. Make sure that the GIF is selected from the drop-down menu and that the transparency box is ticked. If you don't select either of those two things, then, well, you haven't made a GIF sticker. Feel free to resize the GIF into whatever size you need. You can adjust the timings of the GIF in the timeline and then go ahead and hit save. If you're a super Adobe whiz, you can animate your graphic in After Effects. Export as a .mov file with RGB plus alpha and then import the movie into Photoshop. And then following the previous steps, export as normal. And bam, you've got yourself a GIF sticker. For those of you not using Photoshop, there are some free tools such as Pixlr and Canva. You can use these tools to create the frames of your animation which display slight movement, whether that's rotation, flashing or something else. Essentially, imagine you're creating a page of flipbooks. Then, 
save your PNGs and head over to GIF Maker and upload them there to make a GIF with whatever speed you like. Regardless of where you made your GIF, there are some specifications that will restrict you when it comes to uploading it to Giphy. And these are, make sure you upload your stickers as a .gif file. They must be at least 20% transparent pixels with no white or opaque background. 500 to 600 pixels with even numbered height and width. No maximum file size, thank God. RDB color mode, RDB. RGB color mode, must be set to loop forever upon exporting. Great work, gang. You've got a gift sticker and a verified channel, so it's time to go for number three, uploading your gift sticker to Giphy. You've got a GIF and you've got a channel, and it's now time to share it across the world wide web for all to love and use countless times until you are a true GIF superstar. Head on over to Giphy's upload section and either browse or drag and drop your files in. Once your file is uploaded, you'll need to add some information and optimize your GIF sticker. It's important to note, and we'll cover it on another day, that Giphy has got a whole load of SEO value, so optimizing your content is super important. Adding your website URL will provide users with a source, and this will benefit your SEO, but will also enable users to find out more about you if they like your creations. Add tags that are based on keywords that relate to your GIF sticker and will be easily searchable through the platforms that Giphy's API sits on. For example, We've added coffee as a generic term that's easily searchable on a mobile device and relevant to the sticker. But we've also added SGM, which is an abbreviated version of our own brand name, so that we, and those who know us, can easily find it too. Top tip, put your brand name as a tag for your gift stickers for ease of use and brand awareness. And voila, it's uploaded and it's done. It does take a little while for Giphy to push your sticker from the channel into the likes of Instagram's GIF library, so keep checking and testing your custom tags until you can see them. And whilst you're in there, search SGM and check out our GIF library. Once you've got a few live, encourage people to use them. Look at running a campaign or letting your brand ambassadors or fans know that they're there for them to use. You can't, as of yet, see where and when people have used your GIF stickers, so you'll have to keep an eye out. But you can use Giphy's internal analytics in your dashboard to get an idea on the most popular GIF stickers and the numbers of impressions that they've had. Remember that 700 million daily users count on Giphy and prepare to have your mind blown. So that was a quick look at how to set up a verified brand channel on Giphy, how to make GIF stickers, and how to upload them for GIF sets. That's a terrible pun. If you have any more advice or you think we've missed anything, make sure you leave a comment below and let us know. Here's today's giant cheat sheet on the topic. Click the link in the description to download it or just take a screenshot, you know what to do. As always, make sure you subscribe to our channel to get more great content every single week. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time for another Giant Wednesday.